Hi, this is Danielle Zani here. Um, um, I just don't feel like writing this down, um, so I would rather so I do a vlog instead um, to document what's happened. And um, I'm not feeling that well because I've got terrible headaches, and um, it all started with the MRI scan um, yesterday. Um, I'm going to wait for a while um, to see if the, the headaches subside and um, we'll see if I can take a photo to the doctor because um, I, I've never been like this before with heavy headaches um, and um, I just don't know if the MRI scanner had um, Cause problems with my implants that I've got in my brain. Um, I'll tell you, you say implants in my brain. Well, I'll I'll walk through what's actually happened and I'll explain the implants and all that. Okay. First of all, um, I have had some hearing loss in my left ear. So I had all these examinations and all that, and um, so uh, the NHS has um, had set me up to have an MRI scan to see where um, if there's anything wrong with, me, with the with the ear, the communication between the ear and the brain, and. Um, so I thought, you know, I've actually had an MRI scan in the past, like way back, and I had my virus, and I never experienced anything like this ever um, before. Um, it's actually now I'm actually pretty petrified of um, undergoing any further scans. First off, um, Okay, what I found was pretty strange is, okay, I had the, um, what do you call it, um, um, I'll try and put it into, um, words so I can explain. Because, uh, somehow my memory is also fried from this experience. Um, which probably also links up to memory losses as well. But anyway, what's actually happened is I had a letter, um, yes, I've got it now, a, a subscription, a, um, a letter, um, appointment, yes, that's what I was trying to remember, um, appointment letter. Um, to go and have an MRI scan. Now, I originally thought it would be like, you know, like going properly, like I'd go, like I had my x rays, um, I'd go into, you know, the hospital, and then from the hospital, I'll go into sort of like, um, um, a specialized ward area, and then from there, you would go into a room where the, naturally, the MRI scan would fit. Now nah, this this was this was weird. This was absolutely weird. Um, it, it wasn't at the hospital. It was at um, um, a place in um, oh, I remember the place. Um, that's it. Um, do I have it on me? It's, you know, this memory is crap. My memory is just absolutely crap. Um, well, I can't find the the letter. I misplaced it. It's it's for some other. Medical center somewhere in Sunderland. Um, there we go. I remember now. Grindon. Grindon was the place. And, um, 
I went there and I thought that, you know, this is just like a small medical place and I thought, you know, that all the facilities would be in the building. Well, apparently there weren't. It was, there was actually, I waited, you know, um, there was this waiting area. And, um, I waited and I thought it would be like in the building. So, no, no, it wasn't. Um, when to have the MRI, MRI scan, um, a nurse came and um, she said, um, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're ready for your scan. So I okay, cool, got up because I was really exhausted as well. So I had been sleeping, actually, be, I had been waiting for about a long time, I'd say more than an hour. And I actually fell asleep and got up, but it was getting dark. And um went to the vending machine to have, you know, something to eat. Because I normally would have my dinner at the time. Um and um so I basically um got, you know, the nurse came and she said, Well stop your scared. So we started walking and we walked down this corridor and then we started to walk outside and um, I thought this was weird and then outside there was this truck that was parked there, this huge white truck and um, she says, uh, I said well is it in the truck? She says yeah the MRI scanner is in the truck. This is, this is, this is weird, this is weird. So, I got up and, uh, there was like steps leading up to the truck. And the side door had like a slide, a sliding door which opened by itself. And, um, and inside there was like the, um, oh yeah, there was a, a, a patient in there on a wheelchair. And, um, and she had, she had a, Scan. You know, this is really weird, but normally they have it inside the hospital or the medical places. But a truck. This is really strange. And so, um, I got into the truck and um, uh, the, the lady that was in the wheelchair, she was kind of like um, put on the platform. Um, and then that went down under like that, and um, and um, um, then she left and to go home or something. And, um, and then, then there was the um, the MRI scan. I could see it in the the, the left there, and then I was told to take my um, jewelry and things like that, the usual. And um you know, I had to put in the crate in there and did you have anything like any metal objects or anything like that. And um I said, No, I've only got the um the the, the, the metal thing, you know, it broke in the back. It's steel plates in there. And um and um and so I went up to the the, the scanning bed, and um, she said, "Well, if you have any problems, squeeze on this little, that little rubber thing, and it will, you know, when you do like blood, blood pressure, you squeeze that thing, and something similar to that, and had a sensor, which would um, signal an alarm, so that um, she would stop the scanning." So, what happened is, I went to the scanner, at first I felt a bit claustrophobic, and as I was going in, I just felt very tingly uh, in my fingers, and that, this was not even turned on yet, and uh, um, I thought, no, it's probably just um, me imagining things, or it's just probably me being scared, and stuff like that and um, what actually um, 
happened was um, she turned the thing on and um, I felt a electrical as if I had stuck my fingers in the plug or the socket on the wall and um, turned it on and electricity went up to my fingers up to my arms and it started shaking my, uh, in my body and then I started to see sparks and things in my eye and I just pressed, squeezed the thing and, um, and, 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 I, and I stopped and um, and, um, and I said what's happening and I said are you trying to electrocute me or something and um, She said, um, um, no, she says, well, what you've experienced is very rare. She says, um, it's a rare thing that happens to people, and it only happens to people who've had, um, implants, like cochlear implants, and ear, and things like that, and, um, and stuff like that. But, uh, so I got up um fortunately um I had managed to see on the screen on the computer was the, the image that captured uh, inside my head. Um now one thing I don't like about uh, you know though the NHS um help is uh, free in this country. I mean South Africa not yet to pay for it and um if you were uh, down and out and unemployed and things like that, um, it's tough luck. Um, and I've seen, I had seen people uh, die in front of me when I was in South Africa, who were stabbed in the street uh, by a robbery or something like that, and um, waited for help. And because I didn't have like a medical aid which is a medical insurance um, they were left to die in the way in anyway. and that's also left a bit of uh, a, a, that is quite a traumatic experience um, as well that's heavily um, laid on my um, mind and why I hate money so much um, because I had seen people die because of lack of not having money to get help and things like that um so um uh, but the thing the advantage was is with me like x rays or um MRI scans and things like that um you get to have a copy of um where the doctor has a copy and then you have your own copy. But doing with the NHS um it your 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 um scans and x-rays or whatever just get stored on file and you don't really get to keep that information um, which I what I don't personally don't like and I would have loved to have um, I'm actually going to inquire into it um, if it's possible if I can get in better if she didn't delete it um, but all, what I remember I saw on the screen was um, um, you know, you know the, the, the brain. Then I have three distinct um, objects that look very artificial. Um, not one of them looked like a, a spear with a sort of like a hook on, and then the the one on my I think on my left side um, looked more artificial, and then one on the the right side looked similar to the one that was right in the centre. Um, so you have your head, and so basically it was up to the front of my head that was taken. But if you look in there, you'll see the ear there and the ear there. There's one that's there. And it, apparently the one where the um, where my ear is misbehaving has the, the one that looked like a little rod. Um, and near my ear and I think that is a problem but um, I've also got but what I was the one that would be right in the middle of the brain 
And I said to, um, to the nurse, what is that? Um, she says, oh, it, it's nothing. Um, it's nothing. I said, uh, how is it nothing? It should not, it's not a tumor or anything like that. What, what is it? Um, she says, nothing. Um, well, and she says, personally, she doesn't really know exactly what these things are. She's going to take um, the information to a higher doctor. She's just a nurse. And um, she was just a nurse. And, uh, and uh, she says, well, because you had, I said, you know, basically, I, I thought I was being electrocuted in there. Um, you know, and um, she just put the results of the error on the report. Um, I just hope she didn't delete the picture. Because you know, I just don't want to go through another scan again. Um, because it's, it's, it's actually affected me. It's, it's the MRI scan. It started, um, it went, it went up, up to uh, sort of dizzy, disorientated. And um, I felt like if I had drunk, uh, let's say, I can actually get drunk on two pints of beer or alcohol. Um, but I'm still in control of what I do, and I just feel like, you know, dizzy and tipsy and all that. It felt like I had basically drunk about four or five. Um, I was that dizzy and you know off balance and everything and um, I managed to get home and when I got home I just went to bed um, when I woke up again I went on, on the internet and all that I was just extremely depressed and very very, very, um, it's like a chronic, uh, depression type thing. Um, I'm trying to just write in crazy shit. Um, I'm still feeling a bit low, very low. Um, but tonight now I have extreme, um, um headache. It's not too bad, but um, I'm actually going to go down to have a sleep because it's, uh, I can't con con concentrate on my artwork um, because of it. And also, and after the scan as well, I have uh, lost the memory of certain techniques in my art um, with, a, with the Manga Studio program. I, I've absolutely forgotten it. Um, so I don't know what's happened and I feel, um, I don't know, uh, I'm just going to give it a few days, see if I get better or anything like that, but I notice my memory's just gone really fucked up, seriously, totally screwed up. Um, but what I remember is really the head, there was like one in front which was round and had like sort of a hook. Um, that was like right in the middle, and I think that is the extraterrestrial implant. And then the one on the right, yeah, I think it might be another extraterrestrial implant. But the one on my left, yeah, uh, it, that, uh, it looked a bit odd. That, and um, I'm struggling with that. It's a, a non extraterrestrial implant. And, um, and we'll see. Um, with the um, scan, it just triggered something. Um, I don't know if it's causing a, a, a conflict between. I've just feel, I've just got a terrible headache, and um, I just can't think that well. Um, so um, yeah, that's basically what what I've got to write there. I thought I'd do a, a vlog about it because it's much easier. I feel it's easier to just talk and say something. Um, but the funny thing is, I've just got a terrible headache. 
And uh, I'm not going to put go to sleep now. I hope I feel better in the morning. And, um, always need to take I see ya. Uh, uh,